Hello and welcome to this 3D Max uh, tutorial. Right now we've actually animated uh, this um, this intro. As you can see, it starts here and it goes out to there. Like that. Intro, so a nice little intro. Uh, what we can do is add sound to this in this, but I particularly kind of like using um, either After Effects or even um, even uh, Adobe Premiere for that. So we're not going to do that right now. But what I want to show you now is how to render this out to those types of programs. So we want this in HD. Yeah, we want this in full HD 1920. So what we'll do, we'll go into rendering, go to render setup. Uh, scroll down at the moment we're using re mental ray which is not a standard it's not the standard um, uh, renderer but you'll have to click these buttons here and bring it up it's not the default as you can see just um, you will select mental ray from here um, it's quite a good is it, good it's not v-ray but it's, it's good enough um, so now you've got that in there what you do you go to you go up a bit and you'll um, select the output size we want it in HD TV so we'll look for HT HD TV which is down here and we want 1920 by 1080 which is already selected so now you've got all of that done you have to have a render output so I know a lot of people get confused here so what you do you just click click the files right I'm just gonna save it well you can save it there render output what you have to do is name it so you name it against the green yeah um, but once you've named it you must select the save as type otherwise it just won't save you can do AVI that's fine if you just want a, a small uh, quick thing to do but really and truly you should save it as either JPEGs or PNGs and this is even if you're doing motion picture is even the best thing to do because if it does crash when you're doing it fair enough this is only three seconds but if you had a animation which is 10 minutes long or something like that and you were um, and you were, um, take a couple days to um, render it out or so if one of, if it crashes in between maybe at six minutes or something you don't have to start again you would just start from the frame that it crashed at and everything's in PNGs or JPEG files and it is is beautiful it's just it's the way forward basically um, so we'll just save it as a PNG file here or JPEG I'll, I'll click JPEG for now because there's no real need for PNG um, so you save it as JPEG and you press save it's not going to save yet you choose the quality type press OK is not going to save yet what you have to do now is press the render button and then it will save as against the green in the render output in 3ds max that's where it will save so you click this button here and you will wait for it to render and then you can see your your images so it will do frame by frame as you want it so as we were doing it but see, I've just I've, I've just um, showed you what's happening. You're like, oh, what's going on? It's only done frame 62. If you look at the top here, fr frame 62. So you might be, oh, my days, what's going on? It's not working. Okay, so what you do now is just close that. Go back up to your render. Yeah, render setup, which is still open. But if you look at the top here, it says single. Look, time output, single. So it's only going to do what we're seeing now, which is frame 62. If you look down on the animation, it's frame 62. So it's a computer only does what you tell it to do. So now we've got to go back up to here. And active set act, active time segment is 0 to 100. If you look, 0 to 100. That is the animation which we've got here, 0 to 100. So we're going to do the active time segment. We can also do a range. Just say we want it to do from 0 to 25 or 30 frames we can do that too by just clicking the range and changing it there 
but at the moment we're going to do the whole um, active segment so regardless if we scroll back or scroll forward it doesn't matter it's going to do the, the active segment so now you click render and it will render every single frame which we've just um, made like that so it's on frame one still because it's doing HD uh, now it's on frame two but if you look at the frame down here look final gather precision is on draft this is on default uh, soft shadows is on default glossy reflections is on default you can crank that up to get even a sharper image by just changing these things here to suit your needs this is on draft it can go up to very best or very high or uh, this can go up high they can all go up higher you can crank them up but for what we're doing now this is fine as you can see is it's when it's rendering quite quickly for for HDTV this is uh, is on frame 6 already so I just thought I'd tell you that and um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've learnt a few bits and pieces uh, which will make your life easier when you're doing 3ds Max. Don't forget to rate, comment or subscribe. Thank you and I'll see you again.